So, hello and good time for Tokyo, episode 3, right? Season 3. Oh, it's fun, they had a 3 3 3. You know, <laughs> as a side note, whoa, that, that was not planned to happen. <laughs> what was that? My lamp just flickered. Okay, anyway, the death days. That was fun, the death days. As a side note, I should say that I've always been a big fan of that kind of East Asian number gaming, right? So you see a lot of One Piece, Uda loves that. But for example, in China, uh, one of the biggest days, right, is 1111, right? Which is, of course, the 11th uh, November, uh, 111 day, single days, right? Then you have like 777 and so on. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm a big fan of that, like 3 3, okay? Episode 3, episode 3, okay? I like it. Anyway, guys, last episode, I really do enjoy, you know, this this design of businessman Tadio. Yeah, I was even thinking making a video about that. So just for that, guys, I'm gonna make a video where I talk about the the business kind of martial art guy, right? Like where it started, uh, all the cats like Cody, such as Street Fighter and so on, right? Um, and the, uh, Eagle, and also SF1 and so on. That kind of design I think is really cool, you know, that kind of the business guy is like, oh yeah, you wanna go? <laughs> as I always say, guys, I'm a huge fan, right? Of something like a dragon, right? And then you imagine of Ichiban and so on. And so on. I'm, I, I am very excited. Very excited, absurdly excited for that game. One of my most excited games next year is, yeah, the follow-up of like Wealth as a Dragon, what it's called. But anyway, I digress. Let's watch a new episode. So three, two, one, and go. But yeah, I would say Tadjou now is my, he's my favorite designer now, easily. He was already a cool character, of course, in, in the um, uh, the previous uh, time loop. But this like business, business CEO. Uh, and then of course Kisaki appears in the LA, the recapping happened. So I'm just like, he has to have time powers, right? As I said in my last review part. Yeah, or or maybe the other guys. I mean, like I said, either he has time powers, probably Kisaki, but the other guys also might have powers, right? I mean, Kakshan, of course, is his best childhood friend, so that he could have powers maybe, could be a reason why, right? It's like his childhood best friend. Maybe. But yeah, so they guess they probably have to time travel here. That's probably one of the I mean like I said last episode. This is the cool knows this was much tension I feel in the future, right? Because yeah, he can always just grab Nitro's hand and time exactly he can always just time travel. Yeah, he can always time travel like so. <laughs> of course. That cliffhanger doesn't really do much. <laughs> of course he's gonna of course he's gonna time travel, yeah, it's like of course he's gonna time travel, right? And come back to Oh, that's God, Mouton for time traveling. It's gonna tell him that uh, we're gonna. <laughs> it's gonna be an ambush in the future, man! Don't enter that dark alley! <laughs> it's like. If it's the most obvious <laughs> obvious tip ever. Do not go into the dark alley! Yeah, it's like. The most, like, simpli simplistic like, advice here. Do not do that, okay? He's just, uh, okay, I promise. I promise to avoid obvious, obviously. Dangerous places in the future, yeah, okay. No, but this, this is probably one of his uh, crybabies seems to make more sense here. Yeah. Crying. Yeah, over his uh, brother, so to speak. I mean, his brother-in-law, I mean, he's obviously gonna marry his sister, I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's his brother-in-law. Yeah, but this is actually probably one of the most, like, you know, realistic, like, no, my little Naito. Opening, yeah. Do 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 because best for the course. Na, 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 na. Do 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 Like if something happened to these characters right now, right? Then I would buy it, right? If someone you know it's, it's the same thing happened to Takemichi and Naito, yeah, at this time. Then it actually would be really cliffhanger and you know maybe Naito would be, you know, would be able to time travel anymore, so to speak, right? But yeah, I do feel like almost everything that happens in, in the future, or I guess present time, doesn't really, you know, <laughs> because it's always going to fix it, right? Yeah. And this is probably how this is going to end, right? 
Yeah, I feel this part here is probably how with Ikisaki so on, it's probably the last the very last moment probably this season, like the last episode or second to that episode perhaps uh, yeah, with effect, maybe a shipyard I would guess it's like a yeah, like Yokohama Bay or something like the classic area between Yokohama and Tokyo which is like the most populated area uh, probably I just keep coming back to this thing, but now it's like, how did Kisaki know we were here? Yeah, I always commented that Kisaki has to have time powers, right? But like I said last week, I hope that it's not the same time powers. It would be interesting if it's another version of time powers, right? Like future side or something. He's like, oh, I know what's going to happen, yeah, or whatever, right? Or maybe he can... But one thing in general could be if Kisaki just knows the truth, so to speak. Yeah, one, one thing in general, it's like a character in Marvel, I can't remember her name now, she's a very minor character, but basically it's, like it's a girl in Marvel that she has the power basically to always know what is the actual reality. <laughs> That's basically her own power, she has she got two powers, she can awaken people into the reality that they are in, and she knows the reality, basically. She's like, she's like the continuation power, she actually knows how reality is supposed to be, right? So, if you time travel or whatever, she knows the time travel has happened. Here comes Hina, Shan, though. Hina, Hina! Lace is close to night or so. Yeah. He calls Hidna Hidna. I still don't I I I I still don't understand, you know, the whole the reason thing here. Yeah, that this doesn't make any sense here. <laughs> That's it I don't know. That, that, that was that was stupid. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I I still I, I have they have it motivated me. But otherwise that's a pretty cute scene. Reminds me of like, oh, oh, oh I see. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, the ending is so obvious. Uh, no matter what, uh, everything happening in between the last this and this episode, I'm pretty sure how the episode's gonna end, right? You know? Yeah, like, no matter who, 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 how it gets there, the actual end result of this anime is very, very obvious, right? No matter, like, the different paths or whatever and time loops and so on. The actual last episode is pretty clear what's going to happen in that episode between these two characters. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, Hina is like, Hina, Hina. I mean, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Right? <laughs> there is no way that he won't be able to save her for the final episode, right? There's like the whole, this whole anime. It's kind of like, it's, it's, it's like Naruto not becoming Hokage, <laughs> right? Imagine watching like 700 episodes of Naruto and then just become Hokage. Like, that would be ridiculous, yeah. Cookie catch yeah, spoil spoilers. <laughs> Sorry, I spoiled it for you guys. Sorry if I spoiled narrative now, okay? Sorry if I spoiled narrative. He actually becomes the Okagi in the last episode. Yeah, sorry, sorry. But yeah, that, that would make no sense, right, you know. Uh, I mean Hidna is his Hokage or, or the parking and whatever. Now of course one bit isn't over yet, but the same thing they I think everyone would be really surprised if Luffy doesn't become parking. He said like five thousand times per episode, so yeah. Um But yeah, Hina is his uh Hokage or Pirate King or Wizard King or whatever, right? Clearly. But okay, let's see what he's gonna do now then. Because now he's like, I gotta save Mikey and all the guys. Or tell them that Kisaki is as always gonna betray them. But well, they kinda know what they're ready though. Oh, what's that? Draken! Yo, it's Draken! It's the coolest guy. Nah, it's the tiniest case. Second coolest character now then. Used to be the coolest character. Oh, his sister? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Back there. <laughs> so this is Mikey in the normal... It is, it is kind of fun that Mikey is this like incredible super guy, but he's also like a little... <laughs> yeah, he's just like, oh, well, yeah, like... Of course, she does everything, right? She's team mom, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the one that does everything. They have cooking in the laundry, and she's like, you're going to the school and so on. Yeah, yeah. She's clearly team mom. And now she's like, ah, Drakken, Khan! <laughs> yeah, yeah, now she's like, Drakken! Of course. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is Mikey's um, was it family house, I guess, yeah. Where he grew up. Yeah, of course, it's like a garage or so on. <laughs> it's not a garage, yeah. Mikey's family definitely has a garage. <laughs> it's like, you get a lot of bikes, man. Yeah, like... Exactly. I was gonna say that, right? Let me see his brother working on a bike in the garage, right? Yeah, but uh, except, yeah, of course, the house is a big garage, right? It's like, <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's like super needed <laughs> in this anime. He seems to be fairly rich, though, right? Or maybe it's like an old family, but Mike is to live like a mansion or something. Or at least fairly big, at least. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like He's not a morning person. Yeah, like. Too ginky to come each in the morning. <laughs> okay, but this is cute now when Drakken making his hair. <laughs> Drakken is the one that has to make his hair every day. Is that how it is? Yeah. He comes out of his hair being all, you know. <laughs> and Mike is yeah, and Drakken is sitting every day like. <laughs> and tie up his hair and so on. That's a truly best friends, man. That's how it works. Yeah, Every morning, Drakken has to <laughs> work on his hair. It's like, of course. Uh, it all comes together to me now. This is how the anime works. It all comes together now. Oh, that was adorable. That's it. It makes perfect sense though. Uh, Draken is clearly the more, uh, I'll say, it, the more serious one. Yeah, he's more, you know, ordersome and uh, say good with time and so on. Yeah, whatever you, what would you call it? You know, he's more uh, industrious. The best word. Yeah, industrious. Is what they call it. Definitely. Hmm. I mean, it, it, it does fit to me that like enough with a plan to have to, you know, win over the Tenjuku. Oh yeah, so it's best his brother. It has to be before this. It has to be before the first flashback then. Yeah, this has to, or is it between the the other flashback? Or oh, whatever, but it's back to his brother. So he has back back in the days, yeah. What's this then? Uh, do whatever you want. Of course, he's like freedom guy. It's like you can do whatever you want, Mikey Kuhn. Yeah, but this is back before everything happens. It's like flashback to the flashback. Nice anime, guys. Yeah, it's a, it's a flashback inside a flashback, inside a flashback. Yeah, now we're getting flashback exception here. Now it's like, mm. now it's anime. Of course, Emma. <laughs> she has to be like, Draken, you want some tea? <laughs> uh, that's adorable. Yeah, you are good guys. Yeah, you have a good meeting going. <laughs> but yeah, she's proud of it, right? So. Yeah, what's she know, actually? It's Mike, he's never told them. <laughs> it sounds like Mike, he was like, Man, you didn't tell your brothers? Mikey is like, what? I forgot. Yeah, Mikey used to didn't tell them they're brothers, right? Mikey never told them they're siblings. No, you need you to do it. This is a classic Mikey, though. It fits perfectly, Mikey. Wait, is Mikey Kuz Unishan or Toto or something? Like, what? Yeah, you haven't told him anything, Mikey! <laughs> They're like, uh <laughs> It's a classic Mikey, though, yeah. He's like, wait, you didn't tell him it's our brother? He's like... Oh, I forgot? <laughs> oh, oh, man. She's, yeah, Mikey is such an airhead, man. Mikey is such a... He's such a goofy character. He's like, oh, yeah, it's true. That guy is my brother. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. I know him for 15 years. I forgot to tell you guys. I was like, what? No one ever asks. Yeah, the, he definitely is that character. No one ever asked me about my brother. I mean, how could you? How could you ask me to remember stuff? It's like what? He's your brother, Mikey? Yeah. <laughs> now you say that, yeah. But it is all leathers. Yeah, family as well. Well, I guess she probably knows his weakness maybe more than anyone. It does feel like she knows way more than Mikey, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. The sister definitely has more, you know. The sister, she has more understanding of her brothers than the brothers do. And yeah, she's just like, oh, these two guys. Yeah, like, no, no, no. She definitely is more likely to. Oh, God. 
This is all about Maki being a bad brother. It wouldn't surprise me if half this backstory is that Maki was just a bad brother. Hmm. But how does this help them though? I mean, are, are they gonna like convince him to change side or something? I don't think they're gonna do that anyway. I mean, obviously I'm an anime only, but I, I don't think, as in the old things more, right? I do not think that this is gonna lead into them as like changing side or something, or you know, him convincing him to swap or something. This feels like so unlikely, but maybe, maybe it could be something in between. Hmm. Hmm. I just seems so unlikely they're gonna convince him otherwise. Yeah, this is much with last season now. Yeah, <laughs> the sister. It is actually kind of similar, you know. The sister is trying to be like, don't fight, you know, yeah. We're gonna repeat in the same work on the thing. A little bit, a little bit. Last season was much more, uh, much more focused on that, but to some extent, definitely kind of like, oh no, let's be all, let's all be friends as one. Um. Hmm. But yeah, I still feel that I don't really know it's gonna change anything though. You know, is, is learning the truth about the black dragons here. Hmm. When is this thing? Like, okay. So they met him three years ago. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so I mean, I still don't think they're gonna resolve to talking to him. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, he knows, he, he, he remembers something now about his brother, but it's like, you know what I mean? Like, is they gonna resolve anything? I don't think they, they have to resolve it by typical, you know, Tokyo style. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna resolve it by being, yes, let's talk him down, man. I don't think they're gonna talk just to him down, right? Hmm. Oh yeah, Kisaki. You know, because now, now, now Takamichi is like, I have to protect Naruto kun in the future, right? You know, from Kisaki. Um, I would argue, of course, which I have done many times in the past with anime, that w what if you just take care of Kisaki in the past, right? And Akun. <laughs> and Akun! Because you want to trace you. But yeah, what if you just take out Kisaki now, right? What if you take care of Kisaki, you know, permanently here now? Uh, deal with that, you know, for once. Because uh, he's like Saki, he chases, he chases his team every week, right? Yeah. And here we go. So he's finally, it seems that finally Kamichi is like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it. Yeah, he's finally, he's like, he's like, okay, I'm tired of Kusaki always changing sides. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, the Kusaki guy, he's changing sides every week, man. I'm tired of it. It's like, yeah, yeah. She's cheating, man. He's cheating. I, I got to care of it. I, he always cheats somehow. But exactly, I, I liked it. I like it. I say it. I like it because if he's like, "Come on, man, you've done you've done so many time loops, and every time Kisaki somehow managed to, you know, either almost rewrite it or somehow has like a, a, a somewhat sidelining it, and it happens anyway." I mean, this always is the issue, right? That no matter what, Kis uh, no matter how Takemichi has changed the past, Kisaki is all all changing the past to kind of become what he wants anyway. Yeah, it's like. It's like the main character, he's doing like a 10% 10, 10 to the to the east, right? The guy's like 20 to the west, and then it goes back to zero. He goes like that, right? <laughs> yeah, and the pen is back again. Yeah, he's like... Mm -hmm, and he kind of almost comes back to the middle again. Okay, he goes the whole... <laughs> all the friends. Yeah, Minna! They are definitely more short in the old thing, right? Yeah, the guys are... They seem to be way more, uh, say it, energized, genki, uh, in the old thing. So... 
It can be good if all the all the bros come together. Even Akun. <laughs> Maybe he won't betray him. Akun! <laughs> but every time I'm about to, every time. Every time he's like, Akun! <laughs> he's like, yes, yes, like a bitch. Akun. The guy that will always betray you eventually. Yes, that guy. Akun! Um, that being said, though. He clearly Akun is the is the is the big friend. The other three guys are kinda nice there, right? Yeah, let's be honest here. <laughs> he has four shots of the friends and the, the third the three other ones, the three other they don't really matter. <laughs> he doesn't want to say Akun is the only one that matters. The other three guys, I don't even remember the names anymore. <laughs> yeah, let's be honest here. I don't even remember them. I mean obviously I reckon they how they look, but I don't remember the names anymore. I have no idea who these three guys are. I'm like, yeah, the Akun and the older and the and the older guys. Yeah, it's a Toman car. Wait, they have cars in Toman? This is the... This character been before, right? The dragon, I think? I mean, I guess they never talked, but yeah, this character's clearly been in the background. They've become, you know, masked Japanese... So he has a car? He's the only... He's like the only guy has a car, right? In the Toman, yeah. This guy goes... Not <laughs> this is the car uh, Toman guy. <laughs> but seriously, he's like the only guy with my car. What does that mean? Wait, are they betraying them? It's probably really like second spot somehow. I don't know, of course. Of course, he's gonna get in trouble with this guy. No, <laughs> I'm so laughing, but why does he ever dodge for? Why does this guy never manage to dodge? <laughs> like, every time, Takamichi! Every time! This guy is like, I got my, my bros here. And then immediately he's like, bam! And I'm just like, ah! It's like, I'm mean, so you get, you know, surprised, ambushed as always. Every episode, man. Every episode. For the love of God, take a mission. Learn to dodge. I said this, I feel now for like, I don't know, how many hundred episodes. Take a mission, Jesus Christ, man. Dodge for once. <laughs> he gets immediately when the guy appears, he's like, hey, bro. And he's like, okay. He's a car though, so he clearly is the bad guy. Yeah, he, he. I said earlier, right? He's only he's the only Torman guy with a car. That clearly tells me he's not a real Torman. There's some house over there, I guess. What's happening? Yeah, he brought him some kind of. Is this a traitor? I feel it's something more convoluted. I think it's a traitor. I think it's something more convoluted. No, I think it's some weird. He either works with Kisaki, or is some very weird, convoluted strategy that he's like... Where are the dragon guys? But why are they all tied up for? Okay. Tadius guys. That later on are on, are on Kisaki's side though, in the future. Huh. That felt like a really weird thing. So those two guys do join, you know, evil Toman in the future, right? As we saw last episode. And betray their previous uh, leader, right? Of course. But, um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't think he actually betrayed Nagamichi. Even though he did that silly thing. <laughs> kind of was a betrayal. But it feels like it's a kind of weird, like, you know, it's some kind of weird, like, convoluted plan of like, no, I'm going to bring you here. I'm gonna put you into this like I don't know some kind of tournament or something, or you're gonna have to like meet up with these dragons and I don't know somehow resolve this thing. I, I, he has some kind of weird strategy I think about this thing. The ending looks new to me, but I've seen it before. But if it's the shit, the end, the end, yeah, this thing I recognize right now. The ending is surprising. The ending is something new. This thing here is definitely before, Mikey. And the Kisaki. Yeah, at the last bit of the ending, I reckon. Well, maybe I just missed out on this. Maybe I just. Huh, let me see. Yeah, but the ending now is like focusing more on his brother, right? Yeah, the ending has some new scenes in now. It's like his brother. He's like sad in a room or something. It's like. We saw his brother here in, in like a typical. Maybe in prison. Little in prison. Maybe. A little unclear. He looks like he was sad in a room. Let's read the ending a bit more there. I don't reckon after scenes. Uh, there, was some, there was some new scenes there in the ending. So first it looks like the classic scene with Badikun from the season one. 
Uh, then is Marty. Then is yeah. Then yeah. I mean, Emma will be a meeting sisters. Hmm. But he is seemingly betraying them in the ending, though. Yeah. Okay. I guess he is betraying them because he stands there with the black dragons uh, in the ending. <laughs> yeah, he's betraying them here in the ending. He is with them in the ending. Then Kisaki is the one. So he is, I guess, a straight up traitor then. I suppose so. I suppose so, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Um, see, I forget about it. What I said. <laughs> ending spoiled me. The new ending spoiled me. And then it's a load of rumors and so on. But it seems really. Yeah, okay. But yeah, if the ending is for this telling me to the idea, I guess he's gonna do something with Takamichi. And then he's gonna recruit those two guys from the Black Dragons to join him in Tejiku. I guess so. But like I said earlier, right? We saw them having Yo and Kisaki in the future, so that kind of makes sense that he's gonna, he's the one to recruit them into, uh, you know, to follow Kisaki, right, in his new team, I suppose, right? So it kind of makes sense in, in that path, right? Yeah, I suppose so. But otherwise, I wouldn't say this for the weakest episode this is so far. It, it felt kind of slow paced, you know, like it had the first half episode, was not to Hina. And the Hina, the Hina scene uh, was pretty cute. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was pretty cute. And she kind of was like, yeah, <laughs> ending flag. So that was pretty cute. But um, and then we saw a little bit of the Mikey and his brother, right? We get a little bit of sister telling them that, oh, yeah, you should probably tell them how you relate to them so on. <laughs> so he didn't tell them that, yeah. And no, but she was basically like, um, the death is very anime, though, you know? <laughs> it's just a typical anime scene. Where they know he knows he's his brother, but you know he, but he's not in details. Then she's like, "Oh, you ever told them how you met your brother or something?" And the first time you did this, like, you know, she's like dropping these like important notes about their family and all. And Rakin and, and Takemichi like, "What? <laughs> Why did you say that, Mikey?" It's like you didn't ask. Yeah, <laughs> super anime. That is so anime, man. Yeah, the character having no, never mentioning anything about their family or whatever, or or. Like remembering telling them about their family. Oh yeah, actually, my dad is the king of this country. I should tell you guys. Uh, very classic, right? But uh, I don't know. It felt a little slow pace, honestly, right? Uh, and was well, until the end, they kind of had something. But I, I honestly, I'm a little tired of everyone being traitors. They <laughs> told them one. How did they pick up these people? Yeah. Oh, this guy's also a traitor. Yeah, it's like, okay, he's a new traitor. He's like the seventh traitor of Tormund. You're like, man, these guys are really bad at recruiting people. Yeah, like this. Yeah, everyone betrays him all the time, man. It's like, okay, yeah, he, I also stay inside now. You're like, my God, man, this is like... <laughs> I don't know, man. They have, they have they have a trouble with loyalty in Tormund. Yeah, the terrible work to, work to place that. I wonder how Tormund is in the future. They never talked about that. They're just everyone that is in currently in Tormund in the future are all stuck there. Yeah, no one ever says a job, right? You know, they're typical Japanese then. When they're grown ups in the turn in the turn in the forties, then they're like, I'm staying here for the rest of my life. <laughs> but when you are younger, young adults, then you sw keep swapping. <laughs> you need to find the right place to be it forever. Honestly though, all jokes aside though, in Japanese culture, which I'm, I'm well aware of, people la tend to stay at the same place, you know, for most of their life, right? That has definitely been changing for the last maybe ten two years. Uh, so it's less common these days, but it's still very common and it used to be incredibly common. Right? You started one company, you worked with your whole life. And for better or worse, right? In, in one good way, if you look at anime, manga, gaming and so on, right? Even most of video games, if once people start working at a gaming company and they make something good, right? When they're younger, they will keep working there forever. Right? Like about Sugoya Mayoto, you know, keep, keep working there forever, right? Keep making those smaller games forever, right? You know? It's good in that sense, right? If you get the confidence and you get the in the early stages of your life you can keep doing it forever that's good but of course for a lot of people can i just <laughs> just do setting over and over again uh but because of that reason I, I am still surprised that people don't change your more when they're young right so what i mean of course is that it would make the most sense to me at least if you're gonna stay at your company for 50 years of your life right or 40 or whatever you probably want to change in the early years then and find the right place you know what i mean like, oh, that was pretty good, that was pretty good. And then you say it's 40 years, right? <laughs> and test a little bit. But honestly, still to this day, usually in Japan, people like, you know, they get hired after college, right? And then you stay there for like 40 years, yeah, 50 years. And then you stay at the one company. They don't they don't try like two, two different jobs, you know, uh, after college. Or like one year there, one year there, and then 
this is the best place and I got a 40 years. Well, they got like 40 years. <laughs> and then they start switching after, after it's too late. Yeah, kind of, kind of, honestly, kind of. That is very, very common. Very rarely do they actually change uh, afterwards. Well, I don't think it's changed. It definitely is more uh, common now. But also when I say that, I think it's mostly it's like IT and so on, right? And more uh, high level scaled, uh, skilled labors. Uh, high education jobs would have it more uh, at certain occupations, they basically never change jobs or, or even places or whatever, right? For better or worse, I mean, you obviously get better at one thing, right? A lot and so on. Uh, but one thing I do like in Japan, though, that lastly is, of course, uh, this work, I'll say it's secure work, whatever you call it, like the work stability. That's better for your stability. Uh, it's also very hard to get fired, right? You know, it's very hard to actually lose your job in Japan. Also, that whole system, right? So, it's kind of like if you get into a company, you kind of you set for life right there, so it, that's a very good problem. It feels very stable, right? Life, life stability is very high in Japan, right? Low stress and so on. That's you know, definitely. But anyway, if you guys subscribe, that button. Have a great day.